it does what? You mean I can play with a laser? It costs how much for this torture device? The Dyson V15 Detect almost feels too good to be true. It comes with so many attachments. An anti-tangle brush head, a laser particle detecting foam head. I mean, what? Really? When I saw the cost, I almost didn't even buy it. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Megan. I'm a former nurse and new to YouTube, and so far, I'm really enjoying it. I am trying to figure out my new normal and would love for you to join me. My why. Okay, so I'm a dog mom. Gunner is a Great Pyrenees Border Collie Husky mix, and all three of those breeds shed at various times. So it's kind of this constant white fluff ball everywhere you look in my house. May is a Great Pyrenees Basset Hound who also sheds very frequently. Between the two of them, it's an everyday kind of vacuum house. Birdie is a beagle and also sheds every now and then. And then our cat sheds a lot. So between all four of these animals, we've got a mess to keep up with. A lot of times, instead of tumbleweeds, I think of hairballs blowing down my floor. The pieces include an anti-tangle brush head, a foam hard surface laser head, upholstery tool, crevice tool, stiff brush, angled ceiling fan slash dusting brush, and angled convertible brush slash crevice tool. This is the canister. You can attach the attachments right here at the end of the canister, or you can attach this long pole. <laughs> so it makes it more like an upright vacuum. At the back end of the canister is the um, menu. So you can kind of see settings and things like that and you can change to different modes. You can directly connect the attachments to the canister or connect the pole to the canister and then connect the attachments to the pole. It's totally up to you and what your preference is. When I'm vacuuming the floor, I like to use the pole. If I am trying to do something a little more detailed, I like to just directly connect, just so I have a little more control. All right, so the pros. The anti-tangle brush works exactly as advertised. I have owned this vacuum for nine months and I have yet to clean out the brush head. It never tangles and every vacuum I've tried with Gunner's hair always tangles. It wraps completely around the brush, but not with this particular brush head. Let me show you. So you can see like one or two hairs, but nothing is wrapped completely around. It's clean and fantastic to use. It does a fantastic job of getting hair off the, the carpets, off of rugs. I even use it to vacuum my ottoman and the couch. It is that easy. Number two, the foam laser head works exactly as advertised. This is it right here. It's just a little bitty teeny tiny. And then your switch for your lasers here. I tested using a vacuum I previously owned and then I vacuumed with that foam roller and I was shocked at the amount that I missed. It helps me see the hair on the floors. We have lighter floors so it doesn't show as much dirt, which is great, but when I'm trying to clean it, I can't see most of it. So being able to turn on that laser and see exactly where the hair is helps tremendously. With the foam roller attachment, I even take it to our glass entertainment stand. So instead of dusting with a spray or something like that first, I take that attachment, run it across there, get all the loose dust off and cleaned, and then I'll spray it down with some glass cleaner and it gets it much cleaner. Number three, it is lightweight. Our last vacuum was the Dyson Big Bulk Zenetic Animal, like it was huge. I couldn't vacuum two rooms without running out of energy. 
it was so heavy. Now, nine months in on this vacuum, I can vacuum every room in the house. I dust with it. I vacuum furniture all in one run, and it's great. And number four, it comes with a wall mount and charger. I don't have it with me because it is mounted to my wall and I don't want to take it down. I live in a house where we have very limited closet space and to dedicate space just for a vacuum to sit on the floor, it's just not happening in our household. So being able to mount it to the wall and it's in one place and then when you slide the canister on, it starts charging because the charger comes up through the bottom. Okay, now for the cons. The dustbin is really small. Like I said, with our family pets, I vacuum almost every day. We have a carpet in the living room that I will show you that when I vacuum it, if I miss a day, I am emptying the dustbin eight times just to get a five by seven rug vacuumed. That's insane. <laughs> I have to stop, take off the attachment, go into the other room, empty the dustbin, put everything back together, then go start vacuuming and a few minutes later, here we are repeating the process. So it's kind of a bummer, but it's not a make or break for me. Number two, it doesn't stand on its own and it's very easy to tip over. So when I need my both my hands free for a second, I have to find a place to lean it, set it on a countertop because it's fairly large or um, lean it on the couch or the sofa. And if it's slightly bumped, it can fall over. Dyson sells a floor stand, but again, I don't want to take up floor space for something that I don't really need. Number three, you have to constantly pull the trigger. I wish this vacuum had a way that you could pull the trigger and lock it to where it's running if you want for a while, or you can pull the trigger and let it go if you want, but it doesn't. You're constantly pulling that trigger and sometimes that can wear your hand out. Number four, it is expensive. It is $750 for a torture device that you're gonna be vacuuming with. <laughs> But for me and my family, it made the most sense. We have dogs and a good vacuum is key to maintaining our home. We don't want to get behind. We don't want it to be dusty or smelly. And that's part of it is keeping up with the dog hair. So to be transparent, I am currently having issues with one of the features on my vacuum, the particle detect. It's a feature where it knows the size of whatever you're trying to vacuum and it'll adjust the power accordingly to that article. I am working closely with Dyson. They're working on getting it fixed. I, it's just gonna take some time. However, it does not affect the performance of this vacuum. I can still change the power of the vacuum if I feel it's necessary. So until it's repaired, I'll just keep using it. Would I buy it again? Yes. Even with the small bin and some of the cons, I still think it's a fantastic vacuum that meets all of our current needs. Now, if I was purchasing today and I saw that there was a bigger bin size option, I would probably choose the bigger bin. Yes, it's a little bit more money, but for me and our family, that would work the best. There we have it. My review of the Dyson V15 Detect. I love it. Thanks for joining me for today's video. I hope you join me again on Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time when I do my Factor Meal follow-up review. I hope to see you there.